for another edition of River City Pets. Dr. Michael Harris of Sixth Street Vet is with us again. And, and Dr. Mike, we call her, always brings Mojo, who gets to be the guinea pig dog. And <laughs> I asked Dr. Mike if she took requests, and she said she did. So this whole segment is actually something I wanted to do. Yeah, uh, so everybody out there, listen, Eden asked for this. She wanted to know how to trim nails and how to clean ears. And so I just want you to know that if Mojo sends Eden flying, which might happen, um, she requested it. We're not tortured her for no reason. But you know, it's an important thing because everybody worries about, you know, well, if I trim the nails, maybe I'm going to trim them too short. Maybe I'm going to hurt the dog. You know, they have um, a blood vessel and a nerve that's inside the claw. We have a little graphic up there. So you can kind of see, what I always look for, Eden, is I look for where that nail tapers, where it gets kind of narrow and the angle kind of changes. It kind of turns a corner and starts pointing more down. And then as long as you cut there and go at a 45 degree angle, then, you know, you're going to be fine. And the trick is take just a little bit off at a time, you know, don't try to take a big hunk all at once. Mm -hmm. And if you want to grab those trimmers, I'm just going to okay. show you. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> These are our favorite trimmers. Um, okay. They have the kind that, that go up and down, look like a little guillotine. These are just easier, you know, they're strong, they'll get through a nice thick nail. And so it, the easiest thing to do, I think, with a big dog like Mo, get them sitting down and use the helper, you know? Have somebody who's kind of holding the foot. Now, are you gonna do this? Um, okay. You can do it. I'm looking and I see, see how I the end there is white. Okay, uh -huh. just take a little piece of the white off. So you said 45 degrees, so yep. this way, right? Yep, yep, Is that you got right it. There? Look, he's giving you kisses. I he's know. so happy he doesn't mind. There, Whoa. perfect. Oh, see? see, that wasn't so bad. I've been it's afraid not to bad. do it. Exactly. And okay. now, now listen, sometimes you might cut too short. I have, I have a couple remedies for you. Grab those two things down there. Okay. okay. These are sticks. They're called styptic pencils. You can get them from a pharmacy or from a pet supply house. This is a powder, which is a little bit easier. We call that quick stop. Okay. okay for the bleeding? For bleeding. Okay. So if you hit one and it bleeds, a couple, 10 seconds or so. Now, if you get caught without any of this, the other home remedy, flour. Ah. So just take some flour, pack it into the nail, hold a little pressure, and that bleeding will stop. You know, without those, you're going to have a mess, you know. Okay. Good luck getting them to come back for the next pedicure. Well, you know, here's the deal. Lots of treats, okay? okay? So we're going to treat him just a little bit, and then we'll do, we'll do ears real quick, too, oh, okay? yes. When Aunt Eden gives, gives you a pedicure, you get a treat, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Okay, so yep. the ears. How often would we be doing ears? You know, most dogs, you should always do the ears if they swim or get wet or if you give them a bath. Otherwise, okay. every couple of weeks, you know. Um, if you like home remedies, half vinegar, half water, okay? okay? Or we have plenty of commercial ear cleaners. My two favorite things to use to wipe the ears out are either these, these three by three gauze pads or cotton balls. I'm not a fan of Q-tips because you're putting in places that you can't always see where you're putting them. And you're not gonna, you know, create a huge problem, but you might poke the dog in the ear that's gonna hurt, he's not gonna like it, okay? okay. Very simple with this. Um, we don't want you to take a shower in ear cleaner, so. Because okay, what'll happen is he'll, he'll <laughs> shake, shake his it. head, okay. yeah. Um, but uh, fluid in both ears, swish it around real good, take your Q-tips or your gauze, wipe it out. Now, if you ever, if the dog seems painful, ears are very red, they have a bad odor, you're getting blood or really a lot of debris, that means they might have an ear infection. You need to get them to the vet and get it checked. Okay. okay? I didn't ask this question about the nails, but um, how often for those? Um, it depends a lot on their lifestyle. Dogs who have access to concrete don't need it as often. I do mojos about once a month. Okay. You know, about once a month to every six weeks. It's a spa day for you today <laughs> on River City Live. Okay, so real quick, let's say hi to our friend Gloria. Who hi, always Gloria. Watches. Yeah. And then let's tell everybody how they can find you, Dr. Mike, at 6th Street Vet. And the number to reach you? is 904-259-2200. Okay. And you can see our website at 6thStreetVet.com. She is a fantastic resource for any questions you may have. And thank you so much for joining us. Mojo, thank you.